<laughs> because I didn't record. Because I decided. Because I cut off the video before I was. Let me just get to the metaphysics of um, voting. So, I had a question posed to me about doing liberation work. Because we're going to get a little bit more into the physical, right? Doing liberation work. And why can't you throw in voting? Why does voting? What is voting? And, and I mean voting, I mean voting for the general election. Not voting for other more local, more closer municipalities, general president election in the United States of America. This is the context of what I'm mean talking about voting and working towards liberation. So from a metaphysical standpoint, right, if you understand your, your what you do and how you're doing your work, why can't you just vote as well as um, work towards liberation, right? Because what people tend to often think about voting is that, okay, it may not work. It may not be as effective. But it, how does it actually harm? What is it doing that's stopping? And that's because people typically wrapped up into the physical. Understand that voting, as all physical things, are the end results. They're the last step in a multi-step process that has already been taking place. So by the time you get to voting, all the actual work has already been done. So, But first, what is voting? Like Voting as itself, and as it's talked about out of context, right, isn't anything. So yeah, it doesn't seem harmful. Um, if your goal is liberation uh, from the American imperialist state. But when you have to understand is that voting is just a symbol. As all things in the physical realm are, they're a reflection. But what are they a reflection of? They're a reflection of desire. Really, when you think about it, voting is a ritual. You have the intention, right? When you get up to vote, you're not just doing it just to do it. As much as the people want to say, it's not even the, the, the people who are asleep, the humans, do things just to do things. This universe is designed based off intention. Everything's intentional and everything you do is intentional. You may not know the intention behind it. It may not be your intention. And that's important because a lot of people are doing things intentionally, but it's not their intention. That's someone else's. But there is always intention. And with voting, the intention is always to, des to change a desired outcome or to maintain an outcome, a desired outcome uh, achieved. That's it. Whatever that is. That's it. But that's the intention. And when the fact that it's done every annually or every semi-annually, so it's done on a seasonal basis, it, it, that's the that's the ritualistic part of it. It's a full-blown spell. But the problem is, is most people don't know it's a spell, except the few that do. When you do liberation work, you have to understand that liberation is also an intention. More than that, liberation is an entity. Uh, I channeled her a bit. And I, I, I've dubbed her Spirit Deliberation because I haven't gotten a name yet in the channel. But I just let you know, I turned her basically twice, both accidentally, and she's always fucking mad. That's all I got to tell you about that. I'll I'll leave all, any channels and any other spiritual experiences I get on my Patreon if you want to go more into depth about that. But I'll just let you know that, that there, is a, there, there is a egregore of liberation as there is an egregore of all other things uh, that does move things in, again, to maintain itself. And she's not too happy because of how specifically a lot of people in the West act and, and their and their serviness and their cowardice and their refusal to have faith. Right. That that is um, that's an issue. But again, I don't want to get into the, the channeled messages yet. But the understanding is that to do liberation, you also have to have intention. Again, everything is mental before it is physical. There's a law of cause and effect. There has to be an intention for liberation. You don't just get to liberation. You don't just accidentally get there. Nor do you vote your way into liberation. See, it's less that voting itself somehow contradicts a council of liberation, but it's that what is it's that there's an intention behind it, and you have to understand the intention. So when you go and you're you're either either you're voting or you're canvassing or you're running for office, maybe you have to understand. Is that the mass of people have an intention and you and the few also have an intention. Now you have to think about whose intention is going to win out. And in the name of energy, that is a game of numbers. The, and the more energy is into a system, it's going to drown out yours. It's just that fact. And the only group of people who can outwit this are the people at top because that they know how to direct that energy. See, when you're not on top of the system and you're not, you can't direct energy, but they can. That is also the other issue. It's not just that there's a big energy um, and intention within it. It's that where is that intention going and whom is 
directing it. It's not true. If you could direct it, then voting would be no would be no issue. We, we wouldn't even have this discussion. But it's simple fact that you don't have the same grip of power over the minds of the masses that the dark wizards do. That this dark brotherhood, that this group of evil billionaires that are on top of things are able to direct. They are magicians, right? They just have way more training than you. This is the nature of it. Uh, so they can direct this energy of the masses. Plus, they have the energy of the masses as well because they control the media. So they control. They just have more power than you. They have more energy. And in the game of energy, the numbers win. That's it. It doesn't matter how moral you think you are. In the game of energy, the numbers win. That's why we lose. It's because it's a numbers game. So there's a, there are there, It's not hopeless. But you, you got to understand it from that perspective. That's what... That's what you do when you face their system, right? If you have your own system, you can you can determine your rules. But when you're facing their system, you have to understand they designed it specifically for them to win. That's you're not playing. See, when you think that voting is simply just random sets of people randomly selecting a person that has an outcome, and that if you just um, try to get people to go on your side and agree with you, you can sit, do that, then then that's it. But if you understand that it's a game, it's a system and a system of energy transfer, then you understand that, okay, well, to transfer that energy, you have to know how to take that energy and direct it toward yourself. You see this in concerts. Um, there's this uh, one occultist you should follow. Her name is Noel Nusola, N-U-S-U-L-A-X. She breaks this down she breaks down how celebrities use the energy right so you are in the ritual when you go to a concert to manifest the reality because all that love and all that attention all that positive energy is literally just being directed and knowingly or unknowingly and some of them do know knowingly they direct that towards their manifestation and they're able to always manifest and always stay on top billionaires do that too they use your energy to manifest and one of the ways is through voting because you have all these desires, but most people can aren't they're not aware of their own mind, so they can't direct it towards what they want. So it's just energy being given to someone else. You think that you can just change how people vote to do that, but you you are what you're doing is thinking that if you change the selection of the person in the in the office, it's somehow going to affect your thing. When all that's going to do is take the energy that you could put towards operation, and energy energy wins towards them and they get to siphon it off so you're just playing a losing game by trying to do that that's what i wanted to explain that i couldn't explain in a tiktok is that it's a game of energy and you are giving them energy freely thinking you're beating them thinking you can somehow outwit them or thinking somehow you can ride this out there's no riding it out because it's a game of energy but another thing though is also voting itself is also an egregore because people believe in voting as a system so it's an egregore that's going to keep itself aligned there's two things we have to understand about this, though. Because it's going to keep itself aligned, it also has to follow the understanding that the universe is desires homeostasis. Everything in the universe desires a base state. So when anything gets excited, it gets brought back down. It's why the room temperature settles. It's why hot things, the the thing that's hot turns to the room temperature. Things that goes turn into room temperature is because the universe wants to reach equilibrium. This includes systems of oppression because. On a larger level, it's just movement of energy, right? We deal with it on a personal level, so we get confused egoically about why why is it wrong or bad or ineffective when I believe and I just want it to work and I just think it should work and I don't understand it. That doesn't matter in the game of energy. It's kind of like when you understand sociology and political science, you're dealing with the movement of human energy. Everything is, is sort of like a... Not to sound cold, but everything is some level of physics, right? Behavior... Uh, mass behavior systems it's all a movement of energy because with no energy you have nothing and depending on energy you're going to have different levels of something it's why in the summer people go wild is why protests happen a lot in the summer that high excited level of energy energy is the name of the game and when you understand this and you understand that that's what we're working with And not just that, but the energy has to be equalized because of homeostasis. You understand that liberation needs a high excitement of energy to change colonial systems because colonial systems have been the homeostasis for so long. You're fighting an uphill battle, which is why revolutions often happen because revolutions provide so much fucking energy that it disrupts the systems. Now, depending on how it reaches homeostasis again, we have different systems, but that's, that's it. That's the catalyst. People who are against revolution or who are against other things don't understand how energy works. 
they think they can run, hide, and vote their way out of something or just to survive. And that's just the human being wanting to survive, right? Right, your 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 ego once doesn't want to die. You don't want to die. You you want to live, and therefore you're gonna do, you're going to do things from a human perspective. Which, again, the wizards know this. They know people want to just survive. That's why they go vote. So they give you survival, and what survival we have? The sh the hell we live in right now. And people never change it because people don't want to risk their survival. But you, as a magician, should understand this isn't life. Not even from like a like yes, we aren't even living how we're supposed to. Human life isn't life. There's life that exists outside of this, and this is really just death. This is the death realm, so it shouldn't matter. Hearts understand you actually have to work and work with death, which is working with the dreams, to get to that point of competency, and, and not more than just saying it. It's because you know when it actually happens, you're going to be afraid. But you understand is that you, you that's your mindset should change how you function the way most human beings just won't do. Which is these the evil wizards know this. That's why they're manipulating the masses to do that because they understand it's it's about so they they just want a survival. Well, they understand it's all about energy, and you need to play the energy game too. Now that we know that voting will maintain itself, it will maintain itself in a system to maintain that equilibrium, right? So if you if you were trying to liberate yourself, right, you were trying to destroy the American Empire because that's the only way you can liberate yourself. American Empire is a system of energy that likes to keep itself homeostatic. Meaning that you need a lot of you need revolution, and if you don't do revolution or you try to vote your, vote while you're getting there, the voting itself is an energy and intention that's going to be sucked into this egregore that's going to want to maintain itself, which means maintain the American Empire, which means take away from liberation. And most people don't want that anyway. Most people just want a safe, secure world. Which yes, that is at the end goal of it. But you got to understand is they want it in the same of they think safe, secure. Most people think safe and security is things remaining the same and getting a little bit better. Mm -mm. Things shake up, get very bad, get better. If you've ever went through a spiritual awakening, if you ever just went through a shit in life where your life went shit, before your life got better, your life went to fucking hell. And before that, you thought your life was fine because it was set, it was normalized. It was habitual. It was comfortable. But it was not safe or secure. You just believed it is. And then when it went to shit and you thought you were dying, you came back on the side. It was like, oh, I was living in hell. Now I died. I died. The old me died and the new me was there. Most people, that shit, that shit, you can't talk that shit to them. Um, this is it. That's, you, you can't. You got to find a, you have to find different ways. You have to, you have to be very skilled in how you wordsmith to get people to on your side. Um, you can't just tell them, oh, well, life is going to be hell, but it's going to be better at the end of it. They're not going to believe you. They're going to be the person that says, life is going to be great and you don't have to do anything. The dark magicians, they, they, they'll listen to them because they're going to give them what their ego wants. Is That's the same thing because that's the same is how people equate to safety. And it's just not true. And you know it. That's you understand this. You study the politics to understand that that's not true. But also you understand the metaphysics to understand how that's not true. But anyway, I feel like I've rambled. All I'm saying is, is that when you're playing this game of energy, you have to do something that upsets the system a lot. And the problem is, is voting does not upset the system. It maintains the system because the voting is an egregore that will maintain itself. It maintains itself by maintaining the American empire. And therefore, and also they're also, so you have three forces, voting egregore, American empire is also an egregore, dark wizards that can see this and direct that energy towards their goals, which is colonization. And then you have the fight the universe that doesn't care a fuck about any of this, but wants to maintain homeostasis. And the only way to do knock all of those pins down is not through voting. It's through revolution. And I'm talking about the violent upheaval ones. As a wizard, though, you have to figure out how to do it to where you don't end up fucking up because you're going to add so much energy to that system that can end up being out of control. Because not only are you adding into the system, you're basically freeing up all that energy that's been locked into those systems of oppression. That's why a lot of revolutions go bad, mainly because most people who do them aren't wizards. They're just human beings with some, some social science. But they don't know how to control the energy. So it ends up just being like, how do you deal with a bunch of, of violence, a bunch of energy that ends up can curtail back around you and fuck you over or create other movements or deal with a world war? Like you have all you, you could fuck up the planet with this because it's because it's all just energy. But that's now that you're a wizard or a magician. I said wizard, but you're a magician. Same thing. Whatever. I'm going to go back and forth between those things. But now that you're a magician, you understand is that. You have to control the energy. And you can because you understand it's all in your mind. This is all the projection of your mind. So as long as you're not stuck, and one thing you'll do is you'll see, you'll, well, this is also why you may sometimes have to break away from the group. 
internally, not physically, but internally, because you're going to find people who are marginalized, who are going to tell you, well, revolution is where people die and you shouldn't rev do revolution. Listen, I'm just going to say right now, these people will have you die to maintain a non-revolution state. If you were to die because of the system, they and revolution was how you how they saved your life, they wouldn't do it because they're 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 cowards. But most human beings aren't cowards. It's not like even a it's not a fault of human beings. It's just it's prey animals. That's that's what our bodies are. The prey animals, and really our bodies are also energetically food. But again, I'm not going to get into narcissism here. Designed to be afraid. That's what you're working up against. Basically, you're going to have to ignore them. You're going to have to ignore all the people, even the people that look like you, who are going to go against that sort of thing because they don't want, they don't know what they're talking about. They don't know the, the, the nature of the universe and they don't even really understand politics, but they do understand that they want be, to be safe. And that's and they understand people want to just be safe and they're trying to work on what it is to be safe, not knowing that they don't really live in safety, but because the violence isn't on them. Right. Because when the violence is on you, you don't give a fuck about what is to be safe. You're like, I need to live now. I have to be alive. And that means I got to fight or die. And I'm not just going to lay the fuck down. They don't understand is that you already, when you've already accepted the system, you've already laid down because it's mental. The minute you have, and that's what this, the evil wizards, the evil magicians, what they do is they give you reality of a revolution wouldn't work. It'd just be bloody. We'd win anyway. You'd lose. You should lay down and vote for Kamala. That's what they do. And because people are humans and they believe, they believe everything they see is not from them, but outside to them, they take it as true information. And because of the trauma, because of the abuse, and because of this colonial system, it's already the, the groundwork is already set for them to project that outward. And therefore, boom, where do you go? That energy is projected outward. Those evil magicians get that and they maintain the system. And we're no better than we were 60, 100, 200, 400, 500 years ago. Right? Once you understand this, your game, how you do it, how you want evolution is maintain the course. Take the most ideal. The most idyllic situation. I'm talking about like, okay, revolution that's so bloodless, that's so everybody's coming in on it. It's really just all the capitalists that lose. And even then, you don't even have to kill them because they give up and you retrain them. I'm talking about the most, they'll say, tell you it's idealist. You're going to have to let that go. Because what you decide is the necessary cost of revolution will be as a wizard. If you do this right, if as a magician, if you do this right, the necessary cost of revolution is what you decide it's going to be. Because whatever you decide is true. They're going to tell you it's a bloodless revolution, impossible, you're out of your mind. But you already understand that what is out of the mind, there's no such thing as out of the mind. You can't be out of your mind because everything is in your mind. You have to hold strong. That is the holding strong. And it's going to be hard because as you do political work, there's going to be so many things that's going to reinforce this system. That's the nature. That's that's the society. But if you, you got to watch One Piece and have that Luffy determination, oh, you're just going to do it. It's just going to happen. You don't have to know how. That's how you, that's at least step one. Obviously, there's other stuff you have to do, but in every opportunity, in every aspect, believe it's going to happen in the most best scenario. Because again, if you believe, well, I guess some people have to die. It's going to be bloody. It's going to be bloody. Uh, we may not win. You're probably not going to win. Because that's what everyone else believes. And where do we, what reality do we live in? We don't live in a reality that's opposite of what people believe. Does not doesn't exist. You have to be different. And you have to believe. You have to. And this is the strength. What makes you a strong wizard isn't really your power level. It's your persistence. You persist long enough. That's how you beat the energy game. That's how you beat the universe. Because the universe will always maintain uh, homeostasis. But what that homeostasis is doesn't have to be what it was before. It just has to be homeostasis. Which means as long as you hold out longer than however long it takes for the universe to change on this scale, then you have it. You have to you just know that you have to, you know, it's easy because, you know, dealing with humans, they don't hold out long. People don't hold out long mentally. When things start to change, they change. The wizards, the evil magicians, they know you're going to try to do this. So what they're going to do, they're going to try to stop you. They're going to do all their tactics. But understand that their magic is just, they don't have high level magic. They just have glamour magic. They glamour you into thinking you're doing something that you're not. That's what fairies do. They, they, they don't actually attack you. They just glamour you into thinking you're doing something when really you've been walking circles for an hour and a half. They glamour you. And then they use fear. That's it. Glamour and fear. If you can not be glamoured, you cannot be feared, which means you have to do a lot of mental training. You need to be in that, 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 that them sciences. You're in the clear. It's just a matter of time. But if you're weak mentally, and you're prone to lapsing, you're prone to doomerism, 
and you're prone to just feeling like it's hopeless, they got you. So that's the training. That's what you have to. That's the, that's your ticket. That's your vote. Everything else is a byproduct. The the physical aspects are going to be a byproduct. Not that you're not going to do anything physical, but everything's going to be. It's actually going to be smooth when you start you deal with this first. And whatever it is you come to understand as you get more high levels of spirits coming into spiritual communication, you know, this is where you create your own egregores, you create your own deities, you work with old deities, old world deities, you know, talk to them about the fact that, hey, they, you need to be fed. Hey, we need revolution. You need to talk to those ancestors, those ancient ancestors. You need to get talking to other spirits, hell, alien. Do you, that when you get to these high levels where you can actually transfer this with the invisible and actually interact with it, that's where shit starts to change the game for you. But again, if you're starting off, we got to start off with the basics. We got to start off with meditation. We got to start off with your traumas. You got to start off with them because that was like what's going to be what's going to block you from getting there in the first place. There was one more thing I actually wanted to talk about. And was because I, I, I made a little point to it too about voting for Kamala. Um, basically, I want to tell you this is that the presidency does not matter. That's the one thing that out of everything I want to let you know is the presidency doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who's president. It doesn't matter. I don't want to know what, I don't care what you see. I don't care who tells you. Understand this metaphysically. The presidency doesn't matter. American imperialist state is an egregore. It is an entity that exists to maintain itself. We already know what we are explaining egregores. Watch the Jujutsu Kaisen to get a, a, a visualize of what egregores really are. Because they it, it explain it just explains it. American Empire is an egregore, a god, a deity. It's going to maintain itself. How how far along it can, we'll see. But it's going to maintain itself. It's going to maintain the systems, the colonialism, patriarchy, capitalism, the, the uh, uh, criminal justice system, eugenics. It's going to use these things as its avatars. It, you know how like Shiva has an avatar, Krishna, Jesus is technically an avatar of God, of God, of Yahweh. Many different beings are avatars of different things. It's going to use avatars. And colonialism, and really like the people who do colonialism, they're, they're avatars of this of this of this empire. And those systems, of course, we understand these systems aren't physical, but they still have an effect. The people on the end, the presidency, the, even the capitals, even the even even the the, the 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 wizards themselves, they're symbols. You're not fighting them directly. So doing anything that that directly is not what you're trying to do. I could be a president. A banana could be a president. And I'm going to guarantee you something. It would be the same because of these higher laws, because you have to understand is that they're just symbols. So even on that matter, you don't you, you don't want to get caught up in voting and trying to even argue it down because the presidency is just a symbol. It's just a symbol. It just represents a larger spiritual and energetic force. And that's what you need to start to attack is the spiritual energy. Not directly because you don't have the energy to, to, to fight off egregores. That's not how it works. But understand, is that, again, these egregores, what do they need? People to believe in them. The, what you what you're probably going to end up doing physically is getting people to believe in your desired reality, right? The same way that what did the capitalists do? They use their propaganda to get people their spells to get people to believe in the side reality. You might just need to get enough people to believe in your desired reality of liberation, or at least some desired reality of liberation. You all don't have to be exact, but you have to be enough to where people believe that what they want and what they desire will come from liberation and how liberation happens is not through voting. But yeah, that's that's the video. That's everything on the metaphysics of voting and, and really the metaphysics of how you do political work, the metaphysics of politics. I, I had another video about how to do political work as a, um, a magician, but this is the how voting actually works, how this whole American system works, how colonialism works, all of that. Um, so hopefully this helps out. I did want to make a um, an announcement. I started to post... I've been going through the book Psychomancy because... I wanted to get to Brother Panic's class before he passed, but he passed. We transitioned to Rest and Project of God about Psychomancy, so I decided just to do it myself. I'm going through it. I've been gaining some interesting experiences, and I will. I basically, as I go through each one, each lesson, I'm, I'm posting it on my Patreon about what I've gained and how I figured out how to use it. 
after I go through the whole book, I'm probably going to do a, a, a lecture or class on cyclomancy, and I, that'll be up on my Patreon as well. So if you want to, I'll let you know. It's going to be a little bit before because I get it through all of them, and I'm taking like a week each lesson to really gain into it. Um, so I, when I basically once that does start to get close, I will let you know. But in the meantime, as I go through each lesson, at basically every week, what I'm going to do is I'll post what I my findings are, and you can message me on there. If you're also going through Psychomancy, or if you want to get Psychomancy, you want to download. If you can't get the physical copy, you want to go to download Scribe, or it's called Ever And, and get Psychomancy: The Power of the Secret of of Psychic Power Control by I think Rudolph Frank Rudolph something. But Psychomancy: The The Power of Psychic Control, if you want to, it, it's it was it's a basically it's a book that allows you to break down the barriers between how your subconscious views the physical reality. Um, so that way you can start to manipulate it more directly. So all the sort of psychic abilities we talk about or how to get superpowers, that book basically breaks down how to do it based off of um, breaking down the sort of barriers that your mind has placed on what you can and can't do. Also on that note, I also am just ex I'm experimenting with a lot of things. I'm experimenting with different meditations, working with different um, spirits and energies. And as I have experiences, I'm probably also going to write basically sindels in there too so if you do want just sort of you know channel like information stuff i'm dealing with on the spiritual to sort of kind of compare notes or even just ask you want to do that on patreon because that's where i'm going to start to do that well here is going to be more how to just like how to's and more just sort of advice and understanding of metaphysics on the basic level but you want that more advanced stuff it's going to be on patreon peace